Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. Huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. Now we're on. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo dah. Okay, relax, it's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection.
Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Reuben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all going to be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver. Uh, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh. It's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team.
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Order of the Pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Ah, ah. <laughs> hmm. Nope. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? And stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This might be too much for us to handle. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I dunno. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pet. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Warrior Whip. <clears throat> hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Try your best. Let's do it. Building starts now.
Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wolves! Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Oof. We're right behind you! Ah! Ah! I don't see him anywhere, Reuben! The sun's going down. We gotta find him. Fast! He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, there's no way Ruben made these on his own. Hey, Ruben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Ruben, are you in there? <laughs> Stupid pigs. Ruben! No, not you, but pigs! Pig, all pigs but Ruben, shut up! Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben? Ruben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. Yeah. <laughs>
There you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... <laughs> Ruben, run! <sighs> I think... I think we're good. I think we made it! Back! Get back! Stay behind me. I got you. Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Why didn't he just go get the skull himself? He's not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just you said- You could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. I'm kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. 
Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Even if I wanted to get to know him, there's no way Olivia and Axel would go along with it. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <sighs> Crap. <laughs> ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? The saddest of the sad sacks? Ugh, losing is the worst. Worster than the worst. I'm so low, you could wipe the floor with me. Enough. I'm calling a moratorium on moping. What does that even mean? That nobody likes a sore loser. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that... thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. 
Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. You can't seriously think you're just gonna leave me here? If you can manage to stay alive in the woods, I think you can do the same here. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Just who are you? I'm waiting. You know, you really shouldn't creep up on people like that. It's... It, it's creepy. Don't test me. I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Step aside, I have kid. just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. But the keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it hadn't, you know, burned down or whatever. You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Whoa. Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. 
Coolio. Coolness. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over... We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha, I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. That was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move! Hey! Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Reuben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. But he should cook up real nice anyway. He's not food. Once I butcher the thing, we can all have a piece. I like the jowl myself. Just a fancy word for cheese. Oh, come on! I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> and I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? <laughs> this might sound crazy, but we're actually on an important mission. I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... Chicken! 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 <laughs> it's gone. You're totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. Could bust right through. I just need a little wind up room. Any other bright ideas? Look around and see if you can find anything. Shoot, shoot. Get out of here. Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach him? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do.
I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafted time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Yeah. Where'd he go? There! Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. I wouldn't mind a little payback. He deserves it for crossing Petra. You ready? Ready. anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we wanted payback. No better payback than thieving from a thief, right? I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Ivor could come back any minute. There's no time for looting. There's always time for looting, Jesse. Always. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing.
Oh, hello. <clears throat> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier, you know, to save Reuben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not gonna believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion, I know this is a big step, but... I saw it first. Yoink! Hey, what gives? There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. <coughs> Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. Don't touch that, Olivia. I was just curious. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So... Good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... The hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. There's gotta be something bigger going on here. We need to get out of here. Whatever this guy is doing, I don't want to be around when he gets back. If he's doing something shady, we need to figure out what and why. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys, scatter! <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprise? To see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? Olivia, look out! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two. Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. Now get out before I put you out. We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls? You're building a wither! Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, <gasps> I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you?
for the first time ever here at Endercon, we are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Please, please. Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. We should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. I'm going after Lucas by myself. By yourself? Are you sure, Jesse? Yeah. The rest of you, go get Gabriel. We're on it, Jesse. We'll figure out a way to warn Gabriel, and then we'll meet you back here. Let's crash this party. Be back as soon as I can. Be careful. Here goes nothing. This is the best spot I've ever been in. Just run! Run where? You don't think I tried that already? Lucas, run! <sighs> nice one, Reuben. Okay, Jesse, come on. Let's go. Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't know if anybody was going to. No man left behind, that's my motto. Guess I owe you one. Where are the others? Dude, I don't know how I could be any clearer. Weird guy, doing weird stuff. Freaky, with a side of strange. I want you to listen to me. What do you want me to do, tell you charade style? I promise you, that's the last thing I want you to do. Four words. Six syllables. Sounds like... Smonster in the Schmacement. Next! Wait, just... I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir, you'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes! Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How dare you interrupt like this? That's the guy who attacked us in the basement. I wish I could say I was surprised. If it surprises you want, you're in for a treat. Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. 
I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. Ivor! No! Preacher! Attack! Creature! Attack! Yeah. What have you done? Gabriel! No! Stay away! It's after me, not you. Look at him! The mighty Gabriel! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! Uh, He's lost control of it! Oh, uh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That... Potion, is that? Uh oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. It's the wrong potion. Jesse, you've got the real one. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Jesse, throw it. It's protecting itself. Without the command block exposed. The potion is useless! It wasn't supposed to happen like this! Ivor! You coward! Come back here! Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away, except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. What are we waiting for? Lead on! This way! Thanks for coming back for me, Jesse. I wouldn't be here without you. Jesse! Wait! Wait, we have to stay together! Jesse, help me! I can't hold on! still have everyone? We must set out for my fortress. You'll be better protected there.
thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even. We'll be safe as soon as we get to my temple! Chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. <laughs> Hurry! If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe! Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit! Hurry up, Jesse! Everyone, get in! Now! Thank you. There are so many of them. I I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others... You must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. You must. What? Why me? I believe in you. Take the amulet. Take it through the portal. And then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. Stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! Petra, you've got to go through the portal with us. Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. did everything we could. What are you saying? Jesse? What is he talking about? Because it doesn't sound... It was chaos. There wasn't much I could do. Jesse's right. Petra is still up there. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. 
There's nothing you can do. You'll just end up getting yourself killed. You don't know that. You don't know. Hey, there she is. Come on, come on. You again. Ivor, you ruined everything. Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable potion, and what should have been my moment of triumph! Hmm, nothing to say for yourself? I don't think you realize what you've done. There's nothing left up there. Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl! I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. I'm saying she's stupid. Our friend is in trouble because of you. We're trapped in the nether because of you. <laughs> you have much bigger problems to contend with. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. We should go that way. Time's wasting. Let's go. What about you? What about me? How will you get out of here? I'll use my imagination. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! Wow. The nether. Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. Talking about new guy. What drop? Oh crap! You weren't kidding. Everybody, hold on. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so I'm not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No? Good. Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms don't fail me now. Yeah <laughs> Wow! I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be... Whoa! Jesse! Ah, no! Whoa! Wait! Oh, man! <laughs> uh, Axel? Olivia? Ruben! Hang on, Ruben! Ruben! Okay, Ruben, remember how I said everything was gonna be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about it. Whoa!
Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with the gas. Never need to see them. Oh, crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Is... Uh, is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Hey, speak for yourselves, you frady cats. Reuben and I handled ourselves just fine. Isn't that right, Reuben? <laughs> what? No! You screamed like a piglet. Is who did the piglet like screaming? Can you throw up like inside your body? Uh huh. I know because I just did about five times. Wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like, right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well... See you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh, is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. The Order wouldn't build all that track for nothing. It's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I was agreeing with you, so... I don't know what you're talking about. We have to build... Uh... Uh... Shelter. Shelter. I was going to say shelter. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. A treehouse is gonna be spider town. I hate spiders. Well, let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not... That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye level with monsters that are trying to kill us. 
It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done like a multi-level thing, but that's too late now. I mean, it's... it's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... grab something in the morning, or... something. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no. I... I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh... That's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know. It feels wrong. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal, and kind of split no, up. Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know, because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. It's more what you didn't do, don't you think? You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. This is so dumb. You're just gonna let him leave? I'll be fine. Add up all the times he was a jerk to us, and this doesn't compare. You're being ridiculous. And if anything happens to him, I'm blaming you. I didn't know it would rain. You feeling good about yourself? He'll be fine. I, um, I picked some apples. You are more than welcome to some if you want. Feel free. There's plenty for all of us. Thanks, Lucas. You got up early and did all this? I figure we have to eat. I like to get an early start. I thought you left. Yeah, me too. 
I got a tower up as fast as I could. I tried to do some thinking, but it was too cold. And then it started raining. No, it's all right. It's just... It's been a long night. I'm resourceful, you know? People always say that. And I am a good friend. Most of the time, I'm a good friend. Now, yesterday I wasn't at my best for one second, and it's like, none of that matters. Except for one thing. Petra still needs us. I let her down once. It won't happen again. We're in this together now. I'm with you guys. To the end. We're all on the same team. We have to help each other. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thank you, Jesse. <clears throat> all right, then, let's head out. Look at that thing. What is it? Let's get a closer look. This has to be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <sighs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Luck is changing.
This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. It's like they erased him. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. They cut him out of the story. They lied to us. I don't understand why they would do that. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and, well, more historical. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? of the Order of the Stone, the Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece.
It's the same as the amulet. It's absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But just... stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarity. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake. Time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Previously on my... Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had 
only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> doing with it. Buddy, let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege, ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch! Jesse, we need to-
to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Need a hand with anything? <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're serious? Ha, hilarious. No, from you? No. Why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Are you still here? Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that Dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but. He thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That 
little uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh. Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit! Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water! Oh no, your amazing invention! You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this! That machine's been a cow death trap since block one! Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam! Door open. Guards Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Like I can adjust the settings on this thing. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Are those? Bats? 
Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> that's, that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself, then. Come on, come on, come on! Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who... who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? 
That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here. In my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Ah. Ah. Oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Just let us in, Lucas. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. 
Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, I got...